for spring. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see how I got this makeup look, stay tuned and let's get started. So let's get started this makeup look. Today I'm gonna do a spring makeup look and to do this makeup look I already did my eyebrows to make it easier and a little faster. Now I'm gonna apply my eyeshadow base. This is the Soft Ochre by MAC and I'm using the shade Soft Ochre. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> So I'm gonna apply this product all over my lid, it's breathing really well using a shader brush. Then I remove the excess in the lid. And today I'm gonna do a spring makeup look because I love it. So I'm gonna apply this primer everywhere the shadows go. Basically in my eyelid, in the brow bone, in the tear duct area and also in the lower lash line. So this is the eye makeup look that I created and to start to create this makeup look in this side I'm gonna use the color heart shaped cookie by Sugar Pew with a fluffy brush and this will be my transition shade so I'm gonna apply it in my outer corner, crease and a little bit in my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna use the Meet Matte True Multi Eyeshadow Palette by The Palm with a fluffy brush. I'm using a smaller one. I'm gonna apply this shade in my crease and outer corner, blending circular motions to really diffuse this color. Now using the same fluffy brush, I'm gonna use this dark brown shade to create more depth and dimension in my makeup look, like this side. Now I'm gonna play with the color Superbia by Sugar Pew using another fluffy, fluffy. <laughs> using another fluffy brush. I'm gonna use it to apply the shade. It's amazing and so pigmented, so be careful. And so I'm gonna place this color side of the brown. Now all over my lid I'm going to use the Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture and I'm going to apply this pigment using a shader brush. So this is the shade and then I'm going to use it from the lid because I have a lot of pigment here. And so I'm going to apply this shade on top of the Sugar Pill eyeshadow as well. In my tear duct area, I'm gonna use the same product in the shade Double Take with another smaller shader brush. Now 
Alright, so I just applied my fake lashes. This is Sasha by Huda Beauty and now I'm gonna apply my foundation. I'm gonna use the Clinique Beyond Perfect Concealer and Foundation. And this is the foundation I'm using the shade Ivory. So I'm gonna apply it to my face and then I'm gonna spread this product using this brush by Iva. This is the brush A06. To blend easier the product, I'm gonna apply also the Caprian Rose Gold Elixir and this is like that. Now I'm gonna just blend all the product to my face. The foundation is amazing, I really love it and feels so nice in this skin, I really like this foundation. Now I'm gonna highlight my face using the Radiance Cream Concealer by NARS and I'm in the shade Light. I absolutely love this foundation, it feels amazing this skin, the texture is so beautiful and look at this, I just used a little bit of product and this is so full coverage, I really like this foundation. So now I'm gonna apply the powder, I'm using the translucent powder by Laura Mercier with a blush brush by Sigma. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of powder as well. So I always remove the excess and now I'm gonna set all the foundation and concealer. For blush, I decided to apply Snail Bunny by Too Faced. For highlighter, I'm gonna use the shade Audrey by George Cosmetics with the brush Foam Strobing. For my lips, I'm gonna use the Power Liner by Sigma in the color Heartbeat. It's so beautiful and I love it for spring, so I'm gonna use it today. And also the liquid lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the shade Mercury Rising. So I don't really like of this color in my lips, then I'm gonna apply the shade Fuzzy on top of it. So that's it my loveys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't and follow me on Instagram to see more pictures of my work. Hit the notification bell here below so I make sure that you're saving all my new tutorials. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye!